Hello, my babe. I am Sitara Faye. It is such a pleasure to connect with you, especially with this topic. This particular video has been in my head for about four or five days, just poking me saying it's time to record this. So I'm finally letting Kat out of the bag to get this information into your hearts and heads and hands. And for my lady friends, your womb space. There's something really, really powerful that is circulating in the air, one, around me, but also um, from what I'm feeling in what I would say a conscious community that I am a part of. Um, to give you a little bit of background, I was born a medium, uh, and so what that means is I have the ability to communicate with spirits that are outside of body, uh, including loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, ETs, sometimes that makes people uncomfortable, angels, and also baby beings. That means beings that are ready to incarnate here in this world uh, and that are looking for parents. I personally do believe that there are agreements that we make before we even incarnate as to who our soul children are going to be. Now, with that being said, contracts and agreements can be shifted, rearranged, or manipulated in some cases by the human adult that is choosing to either have that baby or not. I do have a video here on YouTube that is called How to Communicate with the Spirit of Your Baby for any of my sisters here that have ever had a miscarriage, an abortion, or are pregnant right now. It's how to communicate with the spirit of your baby. So there are some really powerful passageways that I feel are open right now. And so I'm filming this video in 2021, but what I want you to know is that whenever you are watching this video, this message is designed for you at exactly the right moment, at exactly the right time. I believe that you've stumbled here for a very specific reason. Uh, and so let's dive into that. <laughs> So what I have been seeing, and especially for myself and what my role is, and I see myself as an embodied guide, I have woken up to um, my memories of being in the angelic realm, being surrounded by a council of angels, also recognizing that I was one of them and am one of them, recognizing myself as an embodied earth angel here as a light worker to influence the leading edge of consciousness on this planet. We are here to shift the vibrational resonance of this world, of this third dimensional reality by anchoring these light codes into this world made of dense material. So with that, I had a lot of challenges in my upbringing. I had a beautiful childhood and I also had a horribly traumatic childhood. Both were true, both existed simultaneously. There were a lot of really incredible supporters in my life as there was also some people that continued to bring challenge after challenge, which ultimately taught me how to grow and how to evolve and how to pull myself out of deep holes, including uh, addiction, depression, anorexia, all sorts of really painful, challenging, dark experiences. So with that understanding and with that knowledge, I was musing the other day about well, what would have happened if some of the events or circumstances in my life were prevented, meaning if I had different protectors around. Now, I'm not going to go and say that anything needed to be different than what it was, and simultaneously, if there was a safer environment for me to participate in this world that helped to encourage my gifts and abilities from a young age, I didn't turn to them until I was about 20, 21, and it was because I got to a point in my life where I could not avoid them anymore. I had to face them. And so if, let's just say if, that when I was a child, I had parents that were conscious, that were present, 
uh, that were able to understand these sensitivities that I had. And not only that, but were also able to encourage the cultivation of them and to help encourage a deeper sense of emotional intelligence. Now, I love my parents and in all rites of passage, I absolutely believe and trust that they were doing the best they could with what they had at the time. And I mean that in the full and most utmost respect. So with that being said, these are some of the channels that I have experienced that have come into my world uh, as of late. And it comes from a place of recognizing that conscious and intelligent human beings right now are hesitant to be birthing a new generation. Of course, there will be a lot of obstacles. Of course, there will be a lot of like bumps and trials and tribulations. Uh, but right now, what I'm seeing is a call from the star seed. So right now, I feel that I am a messenger for the babies who are yet to be born into this world. And I'm getting very strong messages and pushed and encouraged to share this because these star seeds that are ready to incarnate, they're knocking on the door. So those of you that have baby fever right now and want to have babies and want to like pull that force of creation through your body, speaking to my sisters right now, it's because these star seeds are ready to come into this world. Now, here's the thing is that these star seeds, they come with their own set of manifests. They come with their own set of guides. They come with their own set of resources because the guardians and support team in our, what we would call invisible world, but are in the multiple dimensions of our conscious understanding already. They are here to support the evolution of the leading edge of consciousness. So that means whatever things that you're worried about in this world, these star seeds are already ready and prepared and know how to handle it. And not only that, they are communicating from their access because they're closer to source, they're closer to the resonance of God than we are because we have been programmed to survive in this world, which means in some cases, most cases, we have absolutely forgotten who we are. So to use myself as an example again, I had to start doing a lot of inner work and a lot of trauma healing and a lot of recovery in order for me to start to remember the expansive nature of my true being. And even now I'm aware that I don't even know all of my capabilities, yet I am more actualized and I'm more embodied now than I ever have been before. So with that being said, these star seeds that are coming through, they're coming through asking for the leaders, the leading edge of consciousness, way showers and light workers that are ready, whose bodies are ripe, whose focus and life foundation is ready to embody and bring in these people that will be the next generation of leading edge way showers by means of activating their innate spiritual and psychic abilities, not having to forget where they came from or why they are here because their parents have already known to access that within themselves too. There is a safety frequency that is here in this world, meaning we don't have to go in to the depths of some of the gook and fighting and turmoil that is here in this world because the people that are here have chosen to use that as their way of conscious evolution and ascension. And more people are waking up on this planet now than they ever have been before. I do believe this is the, the time of the great awakening. This is a massive shift of consciousness is happening. As the dark gets darker, the light gets brighter and we're able to see more clearly how energies work. So when people pop into the awareness and start scratching their head going, what is actually going on here? What is the narrative that I'm choosing to engage with? How can I you know, be in this world and feel fulfilled and feel that I'm participating in the conscious evolution of like the soul creation? And I just want to let that sit for a minute, marinate with that because there's different levels to awakening. And so as a messenger of these star seeds, these light beings, I want to encourage you to check in with yourself 
and recognize that if you're feeling the call, don't ignore it. And I'm not saying turn around and go get pregnant immediately, but what I'm saying is lean into it if you're feeling the urge, if you're feeling that baby fever, if you're feeling that connection, that means there is a baby being that is ringing your doorbell. And so it doesn't mean that you have to like enact and materialize that immediately. But what it does mean is that there's an opportunity for you to lean into it. And I might create another transmission, but right now what I have available is the how to connect with the spirit of your baby. So even if you haven't had a star seed or felt that connection in through your body by means of miscarriage or abortion or by getting pregnant, that you can recognize that, that that connection still exists. So you can use that meditation to connect you with this frequency, which means you'll be able to open your awareness. And for some of you, this is going to fully activate your mediumship abilities. And like I said before, a medium has the capabilities to be able to interact, meaning communicate with spirits that are outside of body. This means you're communicating with the fifth dimension. When you start connecting with angels, you're communicating with the seventh dimension and above. When you start connecting with ETs, you're working with even higher dimensions of consciousness and awareness. But your conscious vibration, your vibrational frequency has to be able to attune to that channel which means for some of you that listen to that transmission, you're going to activate new abilities for yourself anyway. So even if just that is the message for you to hear, that's a beautiful thing because we're right now we're supporting each other and peeling away the layers that have encouraged us to forget who we are. And instead we're turning around and connecting in with the presence of who we be where we came from and why we are here, which is why these star seeds are calling conscious, intelligent parents. Please do not be afraid to welcome in the next generation just simply because the world looks scary on the outside. Know that there is a frequency of protection that is around all of us. And if you are hearing this message that is available to you, we are so protected, we are so guided, we are so loved, we are so encouraged, we are so just encapsulated by light because we are here to be on the leading edge of the conscious evolution. You are so powerful. You are so powerful. The awareness of the being that you are right now, like you're not even aware of like half the pinky size nail of like the entire totality of your conscious understanding. There's so much information available to us now. So if this resonated with you, please let me know below. I want to hear from you. I want to start growing this community. Please share, please, you know, do the things. But also please connect with me even more. I have transmissions, I have classes, I have workshops, I have digital programs that will bring you through embodying your higher self, releasing from trauma and rising into your greatest potential, growing your soul-centered business, uh, as well as emotional intelligence. There's so much here for us to explore. So much here for us to explore. So I encourage you to connect in with the frequency of fear that's in your body, whatever it is that you are afraid of, lean into it, understand it, connect with it, release it and let it go and allow that to be transmuted into courage because you are here to do absolutely exceptional and beautiful things. So I do hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for connecting with me here. I think I'm, this is going to be a theme. So I think I'm going to make a few, few more transmissions, including this particular topic. And I just want to let you know that I absolutely love you. I adore you. I promise to be awake with you here in this journey. And I am celebrating every single part of who you be, my sweet love. So as we go forth, may we integrate the healing and the lessons received with courage, self-love, and compassion. Our chat here today is complete.